What's going on, guys? Welcome back. The 19th of December. We're get, get, taking a look at XRP this morning. Talk about a couple scenarios here potentially playing out for the future. Might take a look at Bitcoin as potentially getting ready to break out once again to the upside. XRP, there could be some trouble ahead for XRP. We are playing out very similar chart pattern here that we did Back in the July 21, June, July, August or so time frame. So let's jump right into this, guys. For XRP USD, Bitstamp will be the data here. So we have this initial big rally here for Bitcoin, for XRP, excuse me, that took place back in April. Big rally, right? We have a, the top came in at the, Right, right above the um, the this big triangle, this big pennant pattern that it's currently forming. Pulled back, rallied again, lower high, but then we have a higher high. Did some whip sawing here. Let me get the drawing tool. Show you this. So this is. It's very similar to what's playing out right now. We have a higher high, got some whips on here, lower high, support, and then the markets start to break. Lower low, lower high, lower low, etc. We have something very similar playing out and has been for the past few months here, if not longer. Big rally here up into resistance. Pullback, support, lower, lower, lower high, pullback, higher high, consolidation, lower high, sideways. So if we looked back to what has previously happened on this chart, we are sitting right here that's where we're at in this pattern which would be right here now there's no guarantee that this will follow perfectly but sometimes if you look left on the chart you can see things playing out similar than what they have in the past and you can use that to kind of give you okay if this plays out we could be getting ready here for a lower price XRP. And when this market actually moved lower, it took a while for it to get down there. You know, we had some rallies and some crashes along the way. And then we ultimately got a big move down to a support level. And then the point is we made it all the way back down to the bottom end of this big, big pennant pattern that the markets are in. So Top end of the range of the pennant pattern, almost touched it here and definitely got to it back in May of 21. And then it took all the way back until June of 22 to get back there. So let's take a look at where we're at right now. We hit the upper end of the pennant pattern right here on July 13th. Pulled back, didn't quite get down to there. What a crazy move that was if you're in the markets here. So that was a 94 cent move. And then within weeks later, down to 43 cents. Didn't make it back up to the upper end yet, but we still also haven't made it down to the lower end, which is in the mid 40 cent range. So if we zoom out here on the chart, this is the pennant pattern that I'm talking about right here. Two white lines, one above, and one below the market. Here's the below, and here's the above. You can see we've been respecting this pattern for a very long time. Just hit the upper one in July, like I said, but this goes out until 2025, so who knows what'll happen. But that is potentially, we're in a potential pretty large move lower here for crypto and it might 
not play out until, you know, January, February, March. But if we saw something like this back down to here, you know, and then we maybe we rally back up, et cetera. Looking back, it would be very normal. We saw it right here. We hit the upper end of the range the pattern, pulled back, came all the way back down to test it, kind of rode that up for a while. You know, we didn't break lower. We actually broke higher from here. And then that, that fueled the July rally all the way up to the 94 cent range. So there is a lot of open air here below the market and to the right of the chart going into 2025. So there's a good chance that we start to head lower and test this bottom end of the pennant pattern. We'll see, guys. No guarantee, but there's a good chance. We've done it in the past. It's been a long time since we've been down there. The last time we were down at the bottom end of that range was in, let's see, March of 2023. So it's been a while. We're due for a test. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. Hey, hopefully XRP just breaks out of this pattern, but it hasn't been able to yet. It's still respecting the pattern, and there's a lot of time left if that's going to play out. Let's take a look at Bitcoin, and the reason is, is because we are potentially getting ready to break out once again into some new highs. We'll see. It's not there yet. It's getting close. So we have the pullback, consolidation, higher low, and we're getting a rally. The key is, do we break into some new highs here? This could be nothing more than a lower high, but you got you to gotta be open for both scenarios to play out. Could be getting ready to break into a new high, or this could be a lower high, and we're getting ready to roll over once again. If we're getting ready to roll over, that, when it does roll over, can be pretty quick and catch a lot of investors off guard because they're waiting. They're waiting for the breakout to take place. And it doesn't. It starts to roll over. People throw in the towel, fuels the market, etc. Just how the markets work. Similar to what we just saw for Bitcoin on this day. This big red day right here, that was the 11th of December. So we have the high of the move, which came in on the 5th. Didn't break a new high on the 8th. Quiet, quiet, and then boom, got a big red day. Markets have basically recovered all of that big red day. But we're now we're at that moment. Yesterday was a nice day. Today, so far, we're up 0.86%. Can this market start to move to the upside? If that's the case, you know, we'll see higher XRP. If it doesn't and starts to roll over, we're going to get the scenario that we just spoke about, which is XRP rolling over. So something to keep in mind. There's no guarantee that these markets will roll over. This trend is very strong to the upside. But just keep in mind, when they do roll over, they happen quick. So, hey, it would be great for the bulls. The Bitcoin continues its trend higher. XRP starts to trend higher and test the upper end of the pennant pattern before the lower end. But at some point, we will get Bitcoin rolling over and we also will get XRP rolling over and testing the lower end of that range, which is down in right now to the mid 40 cents. So we'll have to see. Stocks did continue higher once again yesterday. Pretty incredible. The rally can just continue on, but hey, is what it is. Guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Thanks for hanging around. If you're not yet joined, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and drop a comment down below. Let me know you are new to the channel and welcome, guys. Appreciate your time. You guys have a good one.